is on Welcome Body Odor Sufferers. I don't know if this is going to be Body Odor Vlog 15 or 16 because I already made something earlier, but this is a Body Odor Vlog and I'm going to title this vlog, There's No Such Thing as Free Lunch. So, essentially, the last couple of days, maybe the week, um, I've been trying to look for a job. There was a job offer from this company called Reverture. What they promised was they were going to give me about, uh, if I pass some type of interview, I'll take some type of training course, which will be a 12-week training course. I go out to some specific locations across the country, take the 12-week training course. If I pass, um, that will then allow me to go to, you know, get, get some type of job from them, from the certain clients that they have, and then I will make somewhere between first year forty five to fifty thousand dollars and then the second year I'll make somewhere between sixty to seventy thousand dollars. That sounds really good, especially to the average person because I know the average medium income in America is like somewhere between forty five thousand dollars. So even though I'm in my late twenties, that's still a good offer for most people. The problem is this a couple of days ago on a Monday um, I did receive a call and they confirmed that I passed this, this initial process of the interview. But here's, here's where the point is where I wanted to make, why I wanted to title this. There's no such thing as free lunch. The thing is, they tell you other things about it. They give, go more in detail about the process. So yes, you can go to the different states or different locations within where they do the training facilities. One's in Tampa, so that's like six hours away from my location. And that, I, I was already thinking to myself, okay, that's great. The thing about it is, when speaking about this company, um, they were saying, first off, I have to live with three different people. <laughs> I, or two different people. It's going to be a three-bedroom apartment that I have to live with them for 12 weeks. And that was problem number one with me. Simply because I have experiences in college where... <laughs> Where I smell bad to people and then I had to roommate with someone also and I still smell bad to them and it created a lot of stress and a lot of just unnecessary tension. I, I don't want to really get into that but all I want to say is shit I, I had so much fucking I have so much bad experiences to the point that I, having two people share a room with two people is a is a sort of not a no it is a no no for me. Because I know from my previous experiences, I wanted to kill my last roommate. The last time I ever had a roommate, which was in college. But I don't want to go into a full explanation on that. Secondly, what they were talking about is there is going to be a 12 week program, but you're only going to get paid $8.25 an hour. You're only going to get paid minimum wage $8.25 an hour. In addition to that, um, they're not really paying for room and board. There's just some type of a plan where they will deduct... Um, some of money amount from your paycheck to pay for the room expenses and that'll be like hundred and ten dollars so if you make 825 an hour um, within a given week I don't know what that is for 40 hours I, I know for 8 times 4 will be like 320 so 825 is gonna be somewhere maybe maybe I don't know let's say 430 let's say 430 so you're working 40 hours a week and you make four, 430 at the end of the week and they're going to deduct $110 every week. So then you're probably going to make uh, 300 and, uh, 320 So for all those three weeks, um, so for like a month or something, what would that be? $640, $1240? That will be like 1240 or something like that. Uh, but they told me initially that they'll just pay for the, pay for the room, which is not true. <laughs> you you actually have to pay for it, and it, it make, I guess it makes sense. But you know, I, I just thought you know they were going to pay for these things, but no, it comes out of your check. In addition to that, another thing I've actually heard about it is um, you have to do a contract under two years, and if you move to a no uh, move, uh, move to a new location, if they remove you because they don't feel like you're performing to the optimal level. Or you get fired from their job, fired from a job that they give to you, you have to pay the training course. You have to pay the training course. And the training course, the 12 week training course in total, costs about $19,000. It costs $19,000. So here's another red flag to me 
you if you get removed, meaning they decide to remove you, if you get fired from a job, whatever job they give you, or you move to a, you know, you try to get to another job, you try to hire from another job, um, they will, you will have to pay the course amount of money. Now, I remember asking her, um, okay, so I would have to pay, let's say I worked there for a year, and then I moved to another job. Does that mean I would have to pay half the money? And she couldn't give me a good answer. And that's the thing that really started to get, make it seem like there's another red flag about the situation. There's no such thing as free lunch. And of course, with the training facility, they need to make their money off of it. And once I heard, you know, she gave a better explanation on that Monday, then I started to have doubts. And then I started looking into the company. And within the company, there is a mixed bag here. There's a mixed bag. There's some people saying, don't do it. This is a terrible deal. Do not do it. Then there's some people who actually, a lot of them just say don't do it. But then there's some people who give a full explanation as to why not to do it. Um, and one of the major reasons is simply you're getting paid minimum wage for working with technologies, uh, working with, with like IT type of stuff, and you should get paid more. In addition to that, they can fire you for any, they can remove you for any reasons. It doesn't even have to do with your performance. It could be because they don't like your appearance. It could be because they don't like, you know, just random things, how, how you dress, so on, so forth. And that was another red flag to me because now I have this odor condition. And since I could smell like a donkey's ass from, from a donkey's ass to sewage to uh, uh, <laughs> three-week-old leftover macaroni and cheese, that gives me caution, gives me, makes me worried because they might give me this argument saying, oh, we're going to remove you because you're not taking a bath and you're not, you're not taking care of your hygiene. In addition to that, um, well, that's like one of the main reasons why I decided, oh, damn, it's already seven minutes. I only, only want to talk for seven, uh, five minutes. <sighs> Basically, what I'm saying is if I didn't have this odor condition, even though there is a lot of these 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 warnings and cautions, I would have still taken it because I feel like I could have I could have moved better. I would have the ability to move. I could have the ability to endure it. But with this odor condition and with these warnings that they're telling you that these companies are not really trying, they're trying to find any reason to remove you because they don't really want they want you to pay the nineteen thousand dollars. You know that's how they can. That's one of the ways how they could profit from this ordeal. That cautioned me, that made me say, okay, this is a bad idea. And another thing I was going to do is, I saw that there was a location in Washington, D.C., so then it made me think to myself, you know, my, I, have a, I have a cousin over there, um, I'm not cousin, I have an uncle over there in Washington, D.C., so then I co contacted her again and asked her, okay, so is, where is the location in, in Washington, D.C., because I have an uncle there. And I was thinking to myself, maybe I can live with my uncle for a couple of months because my uncle can't smell me, of course. So I thought it would be a better situation, living situation, just to live with my uncle as opposed to live with two other people in this bedroom apartment thing. However, she said that it's not actually in Washington, D.C., it's actually in West Virginia. So I just tested my, my uncle yesterday and he told me that the location to his house from Washington, D.C. to... West Virginia University is about four hour drive. So once I realized that, okay, that's a no go. And now I completely just am over it. I'm really sad by it, but at the same time, I didn't want to make this nine minutes long. Holy shit, fuck. I just wanted to say there's no such thing as free lunch. Yeah, I could, there's a possibility that I can endure it. I can go to Tampa and stuff like that. But hearing the comments of people saying that they're trying to whittle down their numbers. They're trying to whittle down their numbers because they don't really want to, you know, pay you. That gives me some, that makes me very worried, especially since um, I smell bad and I cannot detect myself. So I might smell good at the moment or I feel like I smell good, but I might smell really bad. And ultimately, they're just going to, I'd probably be the number one pick, the number one pick to, to be removed from the premises. And then I would still have to pay this extraordinary amount of money. And I don't want to get, tack on more bills or more debt. I already have like fifty thousand dollars worth of debt due to due to hospital and and school school loans. So, yeah, I didn't want to make this ten minutes long. Oh my god, 
I need to get better at condensing or con condensing or summarizing things, but that's the reason why I'm not doing it. So at the moment, um, I think th freelancing is the only option, but it's 10 minutes long, so I'm just going to end it right here.